Looking at the highlights of the first quarter, strong free cash flow generation of $70 million, and when you compare it with an outflow of $40 million a year ago, a good favorable swing of $110 million. Net debt continues to fall. It stands at a billion dollars below its peak level seen in 2015. Stable production, 861,000 ounces in a seasonally weak quarter, with all-in sustaining costs dropping 7% year-on-year to $860 an ounce. And we have maintained our full-year guidance. And you saw during the quarter, the, geogra the geographically diversified portfolio offering good leverage to gold prices, currency, and oil come through very well during the quarter. Despite the fall in the gold prices, the quality of the portfolio, backed by our focus on margin growth, delivered uh, an improvement in free cash flow on the back of costs falling 4%, all-in sustaining cost and all-in costs falling by about 7% and 8% respectively. Now, looking at our South African operations, the interventions which we started to apply at Imponang last year are starting to bear good results with production up 34% year on year. And we saw South African regions all in sustaining costs get closer to $900 an ounce during the quarter benefiting from the RAND weakness. On the production side, to remind everyone, the first quarter is always a weak quarter following the Christmas break. Production was relatively flat year on year at 236,000 ounces. The quarter took the brunt of high safety related stoppages that cost the region some 21,000 ounces of immediate production. And when you take into account the loss of ore reserve development and the catch up needed, a further 16,000 ounces in terms of future production. We continue to work with the regulator to help minimize the disruptive impact of such stoppages without compromising safety. <coughs> and the region is likely to have a seasonally slow second quarter as well. And that's been further impacted by the recent seismic event at Savuka. But we expect production to improve in the second half of the year in line with prior years. The minister did say that what he has put forward is a proposal, a draft mining charter, that he was going to engage with the stakeholder group, including uh, the mining companies. Those discussions have started uh, under the auspices of the Chamber of Mines. And at this stage, both parties have agreed to keep the progress and the outcome to date from those discussions confidential. Once we have concluded those discussions, rest assured, you will hear from the chamber. There's nothing more I can say at this stage.